Hey, it's Cam, Mad Redneck Scientist. Um, today I'm going to revisit a project that I hadn't um, finished posting and kind of explain the remains of what needed to be done and how I did what. So I'm not going to bore you too much, so let's get into it. Let me show you the finished product right now. Um, and what I'm working on and explaining is the tree puller that I posted about a year ago. So here is the finished product. Um, as I stated in my last video, I had only had the one arm built and I made an identical one. And what I did down here was I took some uh, flat, uh, half inch flat bar and I just basically cut teeth out of it, welded a few teeth to the top of each uh, arm in the very back. And then towards the end, I got a piece of angle iron that is laying basically with the pointed edge facing the other arm here. What that allows me to do is it allows me to grab um, multiple different size trees some of the thicker bigger trees and even some of the smaller brush will fit back into these teeth um, and i welded these teeth with both these arms closed so when they close these teeth actually fit directly and pretty snug into the teeth on the opposing arm and that allows that allows me to grab some pretty small stuff, probably half inch or so, take or give, um, and makes it. I mean, pretty easy. Um, this up here with the angle iron, I'm not too happy about the way that that turned out. It doesn't really grab too hard. Um, it does work, but. I feel like if I would have built teeth and welded them all the way down and then put another row across the bottom, it probably would have worked a whole lot better than it does. And what I did as far as hydraulics is I have a hydraulic ram on both sides. And let me see if I can get the size off of these. Oh, I don't remember the size of them. If you can read that. So, basically, when I built it, I just fabbed all the mounts up. And like I stated in my last video, I had already designed all of this on the computer. I already knew my measurements, where the actuators needed to mount, what size they were. And as far as hydraulics, what I did was I just plumbed both actuators into um, a t-fitting those t-fittings run into single hoses which run into my skid steer uh, flat face connectors um, i would post a video of, of it working the only problem is is if you can see this i hit a tree with it and i broke this T-fitting, I've tried tightening it down, still leaks. Um, you can actually see the bend right here. Um, so it needs, it needs to be replaced. Uh, I need to order it, I just haven't done it. Um, this does work, I have enjoyed it, I just haven't used it because my poor old skid steer here is about on its last legs. Now on the back, as far as what I did with the quick attach mounts, I built them myself. This is just some half inch by two inch flat stock on the tops and sides. The bottom is a little bit bigger. I think that this was half by four, I believe, or half by five. Um, and then I basically notched out where the latches go under the, for the quick connect on the skid steer. I welded all of the top mounts and side mounts on first. And then I raised it with the skid steer, figured out the angle I needed on the bottom, 
tacked both of these in place, dropped it down, and then finished welding everything. I do apologize it took me so long to get this video out. I apologize I didn't make any other videos continuing the build. Um, life just happens and sometimes I just forget to do things and post videos, keep track of progress. Um, if you have any questions, um, my email is in the description as well as um, you can message me on here as well. I appreciate your time. Appreciate you guys checking it out. Hopefully I'll get better at it.